What's up, everybody, man? Welcome back into the Blue Bloods. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I was busy yesterday, man. Wasn't able to get on live, do, do any articles, do any recruiting updates, but we had to catch up on what Jackson State's doing on the recruiting trail as they have landed, I think, six or seven commitments in about the, 40, uh, the past 48 hours, but one that really sticks out to me is Juco All-American DeAndre Towns Blue. He comes out of Lackawanna Junior College, which is exactly the same place that DeJon Nugget wore it. Warren also came out of when he committed to Jackson State. And this, this is a guy who is violent, big, physical, and I think is someone who could come in and really challenge for playing time. Now, you do have a lot of talent on this Jackson State offensive line, out of the Jackson State offensive line group that's coming back. They've been extremely active on the recruiting trail, recruiting offensive linemen. But when I look at people who are proven, people who have starting experience, people who have, in my opinion, from watching the film, the potential to be day one contributors, I think DeAndre Towns Blue is one of the guys that fit those top five spots that you're looking for. I would not be surprised if they slide him into offensive tackle next season and he makes an immediate impact. Juco All-American in his first season starting at tackle this year and his development, something that I look for in offensive linemen is, you know, everyone preaches size, 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 but there's a point at where you can be too big and you lose a lot, a lot of what makes your game so great. And when Blue and when Towns Blue stepped in as a freshman at Lackawanna, they had him listed at 365 pounds as a freshman. Over that, over his transition from a freshman to sophomore year, he lost over 50 pounds. He was playing this year at 310, so 6'5", 6'6", 310 rather than 365. And it came off in his film as he was more athletic, he was more, he was lighter on his feet, and he was able to do more things. They trusted him to pull. They trusted him to work to the next level. And he, what he kept in that is that he kept his power. He kept his hand. He kept his the the heaviness of his hands he kept his physicality he kept that aggressive mindset that are all things that have made him an all-american up to this point and i think he's a guy who is overall going to be a major con contributor for jackson state in the 2023 season when you look at his film the number one thing that steps out is his ability to always move his feet in key situations and on top of that be extremely agile at times in terms of picking up edge blitzes in terms of picking up fast edge defenders and even when he gets beat he's able to be physical take them around the quarterback and really move them where he needs to and in the run blocking aspect his hands are so heavy and i think if, if you never played offensive line or defensive line that's something that's not easily taught and it's something that really matters because that first initial punch of somebody can mean so much in terms of who wins that one-on-one -on -one matchup on the line of scrimmage. And you see on some of his plays where it's his first punch knocks people off their feet and really shock people where they have to really think about what's coming next. And that's something that is extremely, extremely difficult to develop. And if you're born with him and it really makes you an even better offensive lineman already. And then on top of that, his mindset. He is always looking to punish somebody, uh, win that one-on-one -on -one battle with authority, and that's something that I think Jackson State is really going to love with this guy. He's coming down to Jackson. We'll have two years of eligibility left after being named a JUCO All-American as a sophomore this past season. Jackson State's offensive line coach, who I guess you can also call him Coach O to a point, I really like him, has ties back to Central, and we already know what that offensive line unit has been and what that offensive line development, even over the past like 10 years at Central, has been like. They they nailed the offensive line hire here. I want to do a full breakdown on the new offensive line coach. That's coming soon. More recruiting updates also coming soon on this channel and our website, the Blue Bloods, the Blue Bloods CFB.com. Go check it out. We already got interviews with multiple prospects who have committed to various FCS programs. We're going to be hitting people with coverage left and right from the YouTube channel to the website and even on social media, man. So stay tuned. I do have an interview set up with DeAndre Towns Blue coming later this week, potentially. Next week, we're working on the time as we speak. But guys, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll be back with more recruiting news later this week and a live National Signing Day special that will stretch pretty much the full day this upcoming Wednesday, man. So stay tuned. But until next time, guys, the Blue Bloods are out.